planted me vineyards. Boy, I can do I just walked up and looked at my vineyard. But see, he wasn't like that fool, was he? No, he was not. See, the bad fool said, Oh, look at my vineyard. Look at my farm. They ain't big enough. Tell that boy down. Build me bigger bombs. That's what I've done. And see, God knocked on his door. That was mine. He said, Now, fool. That's exactly what God said. Don't, don't say pastor. Uh, 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 this night, uh, your soul is required of you. Now who gon who gon who gon who gonna make all this hey, somebody else gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. Look at now. I made me gardens and orchards. I planted trees in them of all kinds of fruit. I made me pools of water. Boy, I could go swimming any time of day and night. Look at this now. But see, y'all have to understand, nobody will ever be as rich as Solomon. Nobody. Read the words. This is in the history book, son. Y'all want to check him out. That silver was so common that people wouldn't even bend down to pick it up. His chariot people that would ride him around, every day they sprinkled gold dust in the hair so it would reflect in the sun. That's on the record. To water therewith, the wood that bring up four trees. I got me servants. I got to be careful reading this one now. I got me servants and maidens. Wait a minute. Look at this now. And had servants born in my house. I told some y'all get together. I want to see a baby born. And I'm being quite nice <laughs> from the Hebrew. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. Now his stuff was so tight that when Queen of Sheba came, what the Bible said, it blew her mind. And my saying ain't been not in the word. Is there ever, she lost her mind. You see what I'm saying? I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasures the peculiar treasure of kings and of the province, I got me men saying, hey, be honest, they come saying, I want a private country. I don't want nobody but you. Whatever big name artist, if Luke the Randolph was still there, he'd be going there too. I mean, you know, man, and women saying, Eric James and all of them, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, Jackson, he can call anybody he wants. Whoever, and the delights of the son of men, whatever the son of men out there, whatever the world called, was the happening thing. I could do it. And I didn't lose my mind, didn't get messed up, because I did it with wisdom. Or you might say, just like he asked God, he said, I don't even know how to go in and out before so great a people. God said, well, now, you, you didn't ask for ministry. Since you didn't ask for nobody's life or anything, not only that, I'm going to give you wisdom. Not only that, I'm going to give you riches. And God did exactly what he said he was going to do. Sounds to me. And musical instruments that of all sorts. In other words, I brought in, what's the biggest fellow of mine? I brought in the Boston Pops one night. Did y'all come on and play with me? So I was great. Y'all hear something on the rap? I'm, I'm great. I'm just that, that, that. And increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom. Now don't run by this. My wisdom remained with me. Now that's how he was able to do it. In other words, whatever you're going to do, whether whether. God is not going to say, well, I don't want you to do it. He'll give you the right to do it. But you're going to pay the price. Yes, you are. Keep on reading. He played a heck of a price for what he did. Yes, he did. I ain't got time to go through all this. Listen. Now listen. Now listen. This is plain as day. And whatsoever mine eyes desire, I kept not from them. Ooh, y'all better come. Do you understand what he just said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it was. Come in. Mm -hmm. Whatever he wanted. He was king to do anything he wanted. He did. I want you to think about that now. Whatever he 
you want. Just like the world out there, you can get all the women you want out there, man. You know, whatever. You big time football player, whatever. That's a that's a nothing. It don't amount to nothing. Now listen, 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 listen. I kept not from them. I withheld not my head from any joy. For my heart rejoiced in all my labor. I got down. I got it myself. I don't want to give nobody nothing. That's not what he's saying there. He said, I tried the labor trap. Many men have lost their family and everything, buying into the corporate madness. Don't see about the children and wonder why the children that great. You ain't never seen them, but you can't, you, you passed up up to the ceiling. the leadership that only you can. And this was my portion of all my labor. Now look. Then I looked. I paused for a minute. I looked on all the works that my hand had wrought, And on the labor that I had labor to do. In other words, he just left God out of it, like some of us do. Well, I don't think nobody well, ever would do that, though. Well. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the S-U-N, under the common sun, that you can't even claim that if you read in, in Genesis, he made the big end of the light, didn't he? Help me, somebody. Yes, I'm going to stop at 12 today. I ain't finished. There's so much in there that it's going to take time. And if you don't think two witnesses to make it so, just read Ecclesiastes 8 and 15. We're going to be talking about some. He tried all of this. So you don't have to. You don't have to get your heart messed up. You can have some common sense. Eight and fifteen. What is that? Then I commanded mirth, because a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry, for that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life which God gives him under the sun. Now, I want that money to underline that. Mm -hmm. Whatever you get, who gave it to you? You might go to work every day, but he gave you the strength. Well, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Give him praise and give him glory. Yes, he did. If, if you made, if you got a new job, don't think uh, your interview was all in the bag of chips. It was because he gave it to you. Yes, he did. If you don't understand that, you, you, you'll get on the ego trip. And you become proud. And the book says, Sable, and I resist the proud. But now God made it. Let's see, let me go back over that one. It says in the 10th verse of, of Paul, humble yourself. Listen now. If you want to get anything done under the economy of God, like she said, first seek ye the kingdom of God is right. God's way of doing it. I'm coming down here. I'm trying. But what happens is when you get on your little high horse about what you've done, you be in trouble. Not because I said so. It's what he said. It says, humble. Y'all with me now? Yes, sir. Humble yourself, what? In the sight of the Lord. And he shall, what? Live. You cannot be humble apart moving God out of the equation. No, sir. Not ever. Life. You cannot do it. Not ever. Please ask 6 and 12. I'm going to try to make this last one now. Please just work with me. It says, For who knoweth what is good for a man in this life? Do you really know what's good for you? No, not at all. You think you do. Not at all. A lot of us 
the guy in the whole heap of trouble because he's cute and he's so hello. Ain't good for you. All the days of his vain life, which he spent, spend them as a shadow question. Understand that. That's not demeaning. That's letting you know through the, the word of God, you need a savior. For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? Won't you study that for I'm the S-U-N, not the S-O-N. Yes, sir. Yes. S-U-N. All of us going to walk out there in the sun like today. And I, that book on that say, what does it say? Rain, rain on the just and the unjust, sunshine on the just and the unjust. Yes. In other words, those yes. who are willing to submit to God, no problem. 